Hi, and welcome to another Vivaldi Systems dry cleaning software tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add classes, the items under those classes, modify the prices, the pieces, and the upcharges. All right, so let's load up Vivaldi so that we have the main menu up and running. All right, so the first thing we're going to have to do is change the classes. So before you write a ticket, again, you need to add the items, the pieces, and the classes. To, so to go to the class management, you would click on utilities up on top and the third one down called class management. All right, so here's the whole list of all the classes that we have. So the first thing we're going to have to do is um, delete all the unnecessary class that we don't want, and then we'll create new ones and then save and then close. So we realize that we don't need wholesale fire restoration. So we click on that and then click on delete. To add a new class, you would click on new and then call it, let's say, um, new class. You would change the code to an, to an available one and we see that um, C is available. So click on C and then click on save. You may also indicate if um, the classes are taxable or not by clicking on on the check mark on and off so we want dry cleaning to be taxable let's so let's check that on and then once you're done click on save and when you're done with all the classes and modifying and editing and adding um, you would simply click close or f12 on the keyboard all right so now we're back on the main screen so we want to change the items now that we change the classes, we want to change the items. So let's go to utilities and then the first one down called item management. So let's click, click on that. All right, so all we're doing so far right now is um, changing the item descriptions under the dry cleaning class, but we'll get to the other ones later. So the first thing we want to do is um, change the price. So let's change the price for a five piece suit. You would hover over it and then you would follow the cursor down to where it's called the amount columns. And so we want to change the five piece suit into, let's say 15. So we'll click on that. And so that an arrow facing down will appear. So let's click on that. So the calculator will appear and let's change it to, let's say 15. And then click anywhere else on the screen so that we, you could turn that off. You could also do it with your keyboard. You would click on that, erase it using the backspace and then let's change it back to 16 and then press and enter once you're done. Oh, always remember that when you're editing, you would want to click save every time. And now we realize that everything is refreshed so that this five piece suit changed to price 16 is set and running. All right, so let's move on to four subcharges. On a previous video, I showed you that um, under the dress item description, there was three or four or four subcharges. And um, so let's click on dress so that we could display the four subjects down here at the bottom. So what we could do is um, change the codes by clicking on it and then changing them. So let's change this to, let's say, um, let's put it back to two and then change it back into five. And then we want to erase it and then put it back to four. Oh, just a reminder, when you're doing four subcharges, I really recommend that just for this instance on dress, we have that the mount is changed to zero and then the pieces are are to zero and then the um, correct prices are added here at the four subcharges. Two pieces for a two piece suit and then one piece for a one piece suit and the rest are what they are. All right, so once you're done, you would simply click up here on save and that's it. All right, what about um, delete an item? So let's delete the, the five piece suit. You would simply click on the five piece suit and then click delete up at the top so that it eliminates it. All right, so ooh, let's talk about assign image. We realized that the three piece suit doesn't have an image. I mean, the rest do right here on the right, but on the three piece suit, we don't have an image. To assign an image, you would click on the previous or the next image. And once you're done um, selecting an image, you would click assign image so that uh, an image number is displayed here. All right, so let's move on to laundry. To go to laundry classes, you would click the dot, dot, dot button up here at the top so that it displays the whole list of classes. And if you realize, we added a new class here at the top. So let's go to laundry so that we have the, the laundry class up and running. And so it refreshes so that 
all the item description is set. And the same controls are the same as usual. So the first thing we want to do is add an item. So let's click a new item and let's call it ugly sweater. And then assign, an, assign a code by, let's, let's go up on top and see, oh look, four is available. So let's go back down and assign four. And once you're done, hit enter and then click save. So let's assign a new image. Let's click on it and then click next image until we find the correct image. All right, so this looks like a ugly sweater. So once you're done, click assign image so that it displays the image number. And so let's change the um, amount to, let's say $3. Hit enter, the number pieces to one. So let's add a four subcharge. To add a four subcharge, you would simply click on the item description and then click add option down here at the bottom. Let's make, let's make the code one and change the description to let's say a regular ugly sweater. Let's make the pieces zero because we don't want to add an extra piece because that'll total up to two if we add one. And let's make the amount zero. And so let's add a second four subcharge. So by adding add option and then making that let's say a fancy ugly sweater. Hit enter. And then let's make the pieces, uh, let's say zero. And then the extra amount, since it's fancy, let's type in one and then click enter. And once you're done, always remember to hit save. All right, so let's look at the ugly sweater and we have the four sub charges. And once you're done, click save and then close up here at the top. And so let's test that. To test that, let's write a ticket and go to our test customer. So before we typed in Vasquez, so let's go to Vasquez, double click on him. And we assigned uh, an ugly sweater to laundry. So we go to laundry and then click ugly sweater. Click the light start because he prefers it. And so a four subcharge pops up. And remember, we signed a regular ugly sweater and then a fancy. So let's type in fancy so that right now it's assigned to three. And once we click on the fancy ugly sweater, it adds it to four. So let's cancel this. Remove the ticket. And that is how you add classes and items.